Claire from asexualized.com, an author of Asexual Perspectives, out on Amazon in digital and print copy now. Yep, it's official. Um, Asexual Perspectives is on Amazon in print. Welcome to the seventh in the series of Asexual Perspectives Awareness Month. And today I want to talk to you about magic dick theory. Now, in um, my book, Asexual Perspectives book, one of thy interviewees is called Victoria and she tells her story about how she came out to a guy who was interested in her. He insisted that they go somewhere more romantic together and that she just hadn't tried it with him yet. Yes, magic dick theory, male sense of entitlement, as Victoria puts it, is where a guy thinks that if he sticks his penis in a woman, or, uh, yeah, basically, that he uh, will cure her asexuality, or um, it happens to lesbians too, you know? Um, you know, sometimes a guy thinks that he sticks his dick in her and then she won't be a lesbian anymore you know this is simply not true it's deeply disturbing that these guys even say stuff like this you know it's rape if you um stick your penis in a woman and it's unwanted it's rape it's not going to change her sexual orientation it's just absolutely disgusting and it's not on i'm surprised in this 21st century there are guys still thinking they can do this and still saying this type of thing and they do i know it goes on and it's absolutely horrid you know i mean if a, if a gay guy was to stick his penis in a, a a woman's vagina it's not gonna make him any less gay yeah, yeah for a start he wouldn't want to do it and that'd be like rape to the guy and for another thing you know, unless he's obviously bisexual, I'm talking about if he's gay, you know, if he's or homo romantic, if he's if he's um only into guys and an uh, asexual guy, you know, it's not gonna change his orientation or all of a sudden gonna be attracted to women. You know? It's just disgusting. I, I just don't want this to to ever happen again. And we need to raise more awareness of asexuality. You know, we need to get it as a sexual orientation its own right throughout the globe so that more and more people of different orientations can understand asexuality and understand that it's a valid, proven uh, sexual orientation in its own right. You know, there shouldn't be anyone trying to fix anyone's orientation, whether you're asexual or whether you're bisexual or, you know, gay whatever this goes for every orientation no one should be able to be trying to fix another's orientation we should be accepting each other for who we are you know this is ridiculous it's absolutely disgusting you know why if people have got nothing better to do in their life than go around saying they want to fix other people what does that say about them what does that say about them as a person it's absolutely ridiculous and i know it still goes on it's horrible so what is your situation? Have you ever been in that situation before where a guy's thought that if you have sex with him, it'll fix your orientation? You know, please write it down in the comments below. Or if you ha you've, you're a guy who's only into guys, have you ever had a woman try to think she'll fix you by giving you great sex, you know? Please leave the comments below. This is something that really needs to be talked about. You know, and I think it's absolutely disgusting. I don't know what you think, but I don't think it should go on anymore. But it does. And how many times has it happened to you? Please leave it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Check out Victoria's full story in Asexual Perspectives. Don't forget to check Asexual Perspectives out on Amazon. Subscribe and share this video with all your friends. Let's get talking about this and let's sort it out and, you know, try and find out what can be done so this doesn't ha keep happening. Okay, until next time, embrace your quirky and each other's and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.